there we go i've got the three speed wired in just have to wire it into that plug there for the switch on the handlebar you've got three speeds that you can then program with the far driver app on your phone now i'm just lengthening the wires that go to this little dongle here so it can connect up to your phone now when you switch it on you can see a red light flashing so you know it's on because i keep leaving it on and people come up and crank the throttle and it takes off and goes crazy now i'm in the far driver app and i can go through all these options here and change stuff so now high power gear is 100 percent middle gear was only at 50 percent so it's going to be quite powerful and you can change the speeds as well i want to see if i can figure out how to do regenerative braking I just got some of this flooring mat stuff, foam padding, and I've glued a piece on there. This here ADOS type glue seems to work pretty good. And there it is, I'm about to go for a ride. I have now made a front plate just out of some aluminium just to hide some of these wires, but I reckon it looks pretty cool and I like the color. Reminds me of the uh, three-wheeler that I made. <laughs> chain is pretty noisy i managed to move it over a little bit so it's not scraping but it's still loud the reason being is that this chain is about three different old scrap motorbike chains i've had lying around they're worn out this chain's actually been twisted and i've straightened it back out that's why it's pretty loud i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this off here i'm going to move the whole motor this way and i'm going to run the smaller size uh chain and sprocket i can't remember what the size is called and I'm also going to cut a smaller sprocket here, get that laser cut, so it'll be heaps faster on the road. There's less rotational mass with the smaller chain as well, and it will make it more efficient. Let's see how this thing goes, eh? Turn it down to power one for here. Don't want to fall off. That'd be embarrassing. Oh yeah. I'm keeping my legs down through this. Just got bit anything that's off camber, it sort of throws my front wheel. It's perfectly rideable. Oh, this is a sharp corner. Reverse. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another way out there. I can get through. Maybe I'll have a go. And here we go. We made it to the river. I wonder if I could go down there. Probably not with a sore shoulder. I do want to go down there. That would be cool. But it's a bit of a steep bank coming back and I sort of have to hop it up and that might be pretty hard on my shoulder doing that. So. Maybe next time. I'd like to see how deep I can go in the water too. And if it floats, I'll pull up and check my battery. Device disconnected. 
Oh, is it because it's off? Ninety-six percent, it says. Battery should last ages then. All right, I'm heading back, and I'm going to go up this other exit here. So that trip was successful. Seems to run for quite a while now. I wonder if it's getting charged properly now or something. Okay, I've gone home and I've charged up a little bit and now I'm gonna go up a big hill road. So if I go flat, I should be able to push home, okay. for a bit longer but it just goes into a farmland set up the regen I think 88% battery it says and then if we go to the other app let's see if we can put the regen on energy feedback mode so we'll do we'll try medium oh yeah she's regening pretty hard now yeah, it's a steep and it's just regening My brakes can lock the wheel up, that's good. On downhill on gravel, mind you. Let's try full regen. Now we've got strong regen. Let's see what happens. Oh, I really need a foam dash. Yeah, wow, that's strong now. Yeah, look at that. It's locking the wheel. <laughs> it's way too much regen. Gonna have to help somehow drive it home on high regen mode. Oh, I get it. It's the way you work the throttle. If you gradually back off, oh, gradually back it off, it doesn't regen. But if you back off aggressively, it does regen. Whoa, really regen. That's quite good actually. Right. Well, I've got some learning to do. All of these things are options in professional mode. Unbelievable. Look how much stuff you can change. I've got no idea what any of it is. Okay, it's the next day. Um, my shoulder's really sore from the riding. I need to take it easy until I'm recovered a bit better. But it goes so well. I just want to get a couple more shots of going around corners because it actually corners really good on the road. So I put the Insta360 out the back here. See if I can get a better shot.
So just back on charge now. Things I'm going to change, the handlebars, these are quad bike handlebars, I don't like them. They need to be wider and lower. Get a new sprocket cut and move this motor over and I can get rid of all this stuff, save some weight. So hopefully next time my shoulder's all healed and there'll be some jumps and wheel stands and some more difficult terrain going on. Thanks for watching.